I have 10 Middle Eastern fragrances that's great for this hot weather. Yes, it's great for this hot weather. So stay right there. Right after the intro, we're going to talk about these 10. Hold up. I got a, I got a couple honorable mentions too. So it's a little more than 10, but stay right there after the intro. We're going to jump right into it. Back to the video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. I have 10 and a couple honorable mentions. Middle Eastern fragrances that's great for this hot weather, man. It's steaming outside. I'm telling you, the air is thick. It's hot as hell. But I got about 12 joints over here. I could have added a couple more, but I thought 12 was just enough, man. You know, 10 and then two honorable mentions. So, we're going to get into it. But before we do, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button and share the video. It's important that you participate. Don't be a wallflower. Comment or hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, okay? That being said, let's jump right into it. First honorable mention. One of my favorite houses, man, <laughs> from the Middle East. I'm telling you, these little babies pack a punch and they got some good joints in it. The first one from the house of our rehab. It could have been silver, but it's not. It's Sultan. Sultan, trust and believe when I tell you this baby is dope. It's an honorable mention, though. All right, because I just had too many and I already read my list, so. I didn't want to redo the list. So I just put this as an honorable mention. Okay. Let me give you some of the notes list. You got juniper, cedar, bergamot, musk, sandalwood, cardamom. This baby is good. All right. It's a good fragrance. And let me tell you something. This is an EDP concentration right here. This is EDP concentration. Look at the bottle. Just look. Not a lot in this bottle. This is a 50 mil. Oh no, 35 mil bottle. And some of these are hard to find, but this is just a good fragrance, bro. It smells so good. Salted. An amazing scent. And great for this hot weather. Okay? The first honorable mention. The next one. I'll throw these strips down the floor. The next honorable mention, and I'm only putting this in the, as an honorable mention because I could have added, you can add this to any list, actually. You can add this to any list and it's going to do well. I'm talking about my number one fragrance. Well, my very first fragrance that I reviewed Club De Niro Intense Man. Or should I say one of the first? I know it was up there somewhere, beginning stages of this YouTube journey for me. Club De Niro Intense Man. I could have put this in there. Everybody know what this fragrance is. This is the number one clone of Aventus. The number one. The best selling. This is the EDT. This is the begin. This is the first one. I don't have the perfume, per perfume oil, uh, the pure perfume. I don't have none of that. This is just the original one. I bought two of these. I got this one and there's a second bottle down there. At the beginning stages, this is the original bottle. This says, let me see if I can see the date on this thing. I can't see the date. It's so damn dark on this thing. But it's like 2015. But let me tell you something, man. If you want a compliment, psh, there's nothing better than this. Everybody say you got that harsh lemon pledge opening. Man. Listen, deal with it. Deal with it. Because once you get over and past that, the magic begins. This is just a wonderful scent. It's wonderful. Okay, second honorable mention. Quick disclaimer, I might chop up some of these names, but bear with me, okay? First one, from the house of a moth, this is Alcilio. 
mycelium. Melon, apple, lavender, um, violet, amber, vanilla, and musk. This is a Invictus Aqua clone, but smells really good. Yeah, this is just, this is a wonderful scent, man. This is just nice. A very good scent. This one has a, a little bit better. Not, not, not let's say a little bit better. This one is a little sweeter. Okay. A little bit more youthful. And again, this is a Invictus Aqua clone. Very nice. All right. Next one from the house of Premier Perfumes. This is Abyss of Nights. I'm hoping I said that name right. Abyss of Nights. And this is like a, it's an island over in like Greece where they're known for their nightlife. Let's see. Here we go. Go for the aperture, man. The aperture is black as well. This is, this is good. Pineapple, fig, jasmine, patchouli, oak moss, musk. This is nice. This, and this is like their interpretation of Invictus. This is a little bit more pricier. But this is a really pleasant scent, man. Very pleasant would do damage in this heat this would get you this would get you compliments this definitely would get you compliments a bit of nights by premier perfumes moving along from the house of a moth again this is white diamond white diamond one of my first niche fragrances from a moth Mandarin orange, cardamom, tuberose, yangling, cedar. This is good. It's a really, really nice fragrance, man. This is more of a all-white party event type of fragrance here. This is a good scent. Soft, yet elegant. This is like L1212 by Lacoste at a much better, much, let me see, let's say this right. It's Lacoste L1212 done better. That's what this is. Very, very upscale. Very nice, man. White Diamond by a moth. It's at least the, the niche collection. The next one. This one was introduced to me by my brother, Chad, with uh, Shaving on the Dark Side. This is a, a, a champagne, a sparkling champagne and rose vibe. This is rose from Bulgaria for men. Cheap little bottle. This like, goes for like 25 bucks. But when I tell you, the scent that it gives off is amazing. Like I said, it's a sparkling champagne and rose. Very nice. You got roses from Bulgaria. You got rose from Turkish or Turkish rose. You got Taif rose. You also get like lavender extract. It's just so good. It's so bright. Damn, this is good. Rose from Bulgaria for men. If you haven't gotten your nose on this, man, this don't cost much at all. Like I said, 25 bucks. And they got a bunch of stuff. They got like aftershave. They got soaps. Everything with the smell. This is dope. This is dope. All right. Moving on. Damn, that smell good. Another one from the house of Premier. This from Premier Perfumes. This is Elegance Intense. And this is an EDP concentration as well. Now, let me give you the notes on this. You get orange, you get rose, fruit, fruit accords, white oak, and musk. 
so very nice soft it's got a tropical feel to it got like coconut like oh man it feels like i have a coconut vibe to this every time i smell this that's what i think of damn this is nice this is super nice man again these are middle eastern companies man these are companies from the middle east that's doing the damn thing This is, I get the rose, I get the fruity notes, got a little sweetness to it. It's a, it's musky, it's, it's nice. <laughs> this is dope. Damn, elegance. I'm trying to move quick, man. I'm trying not to get, I'm trying to get this under 20 minutes. I doubt it though. Next, another one from the house of Amoth. Amoth was killing it, but I was on that spree where everything Amoth was me. I was buying them. This one. La Parfait pour, pour Home. I, I know I didn't say that name right. But this one. I know this one. Like the back of my hand. This is Green Iris Tweed and Aventus. Blended. You're getting that Green Iris Tweed vibe. The green notes. But you're also getting that sparkle from the pineapple the black currant, the ambergris, the rose, the musk, the vanilla. This is an amazing scent. <laughs> this is an amazing scent. Again, you're getting both of them in one. I know the last video I said I'm, I'm kind of over a Ventus vibe, that DNA. But when it's done like this where it's a blend, I like it a lot. Let me say this. I just don't want to smell it all the time anymore. And that's what I, I should be saying. I still think the smell is nice and it's good. I just don't want to smell it all the goddamn time. And everybody wants Ventus, but hey, it's their choice. Anyway, if I haven't said it already, Green Iris Tweed and Aventus. That's it. Black currant, pineapples, ambergris, rose, musk, vanilla. Psh, dope joint. Okay. Next one, Amoth is killing it. I could have doubled this one up. I left one out. I could have doubled it up. From the house of Amoth to Siash. Siash. Now, let me give you notes on this. You get bergamot, black currant, and broxen, lime, rose, iris, and sandalwood. Those are the notes in this thing. So, our Moths Der Derby Clubhouse Blanche is another Silver Mountain Water clone. This is just so much better, so much richer, better performance, louder. This is just dope. Siage. Siage. You're getting everything about Silver Mountain Water. In this fragrance, this is damn near like a 95, 90, I, I want to say better than 95, maybe like a 97, 98% clone of Silver Mountain Water. This is, this is crazy. Crazy good. Damn. All right. From the house of Al Haramain, this is Etoles. This one. Super duper close to Keaton Man. Trust me on that. Very good summer fragrance right here. Upscale as hell. Any like all white party or you gotta wait, or you gotta go to a party where you gotta dress up. This definitely fit the bill. Oh yeah. Black currant, orange, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, musk. And incense. This is just one hell of a scent, man. It don't get talked about often, too. But this is just a nice fragrance overall, man. It smells just like Keaton, man. I'm telling you. I think it's got a little bit more um, citrus at the top than Keaton, man. Other than that, everything about it is Keaton, man. Up and down. Next one. 
from the house of Rasasi. And I know everybody probably saying, man, you got a you got a summer list from the Middle East and you don't have Hawass. You got them, you better be you better believe I was gonna have Hawass in this. Hawass is a dope scent. It ain't my number one, or it ain't the one that I put at the number one spot, but it's close. Hawass. What can I say about this fragrance? Do I, I sh should I even spray it? Yep, I'm gonna spray it because I'm dead I do want to smell it. Hawass. Invictus Aqua, but better to me. A much better version of Invictus Aqua. A much better version of it. And I think this came out before, if I'm not mistaken. But Invictus Aqua wouldn't take all the credit for being that aquatic baby that everybody was acquiring or looking for. I think this was out a little bit longer. And this bottle here, I got this bottle back in the days too. This is an older bottle. I just don't wear it as much. That's the that's the downfall of having so many fragrances. Some fragrances get pushed to the back. Or you only wear certain fragrances for certain weather. This would do damage in this type of heat. It's smoldering outside. It's so hot. But this Hawass would do damage. You got watery notes. You got bergamot. You got plum and broxen, musk, and driftwood. This thing would do damage, man. So much damage. Rasasi Hawass. And lastly, last but not least, probably my favorite fragrance from, it, it is my favorite fragrance from the house. This is Guapo. This is Guapo. Listen, I'm a tag our rehab in this video. I'm hoping they see this. Please don't discontinue this. Please make this available again because I'm looking for this baby. Yeah, I need this baby in my life. I got this much left. Look at that on this bottle. I have a second bottle upstairs that has less than that. This is my baby. <laughs> Don't discontinue it, please. I really do feel like that. I really do feel like that. This is 50 mil. This is almost gone, bro. This is almost gone. Citrusy, citrusy notes at the top with some musk and some agarwood but it smells so amazing i get so many compliments off this fragrance it's ridiculous it's so ridiculous so if you know where i can get this guapo from or if you if you ever if you know somebody that has it and you haven't smelt it yet first buy it for yourself first all right i'm not selfish buy it for yourself first you're gonna love it but then Send me a message and tell me you know what it you know what it's at and I can find out and I can get a couple more bottles because I'm looking for it. This is my favorite hour rehab fragrance right here. Guapo. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment. My co-worker the other day I wore it uh two days ago. No, yeah, two days ago, and I wore it Friday. Friday he said, Yo man, what you wearing, bro? That thing smells so good. And I'm like, I told you you wouldn't even know how to find it, bro. I told him. He was like, damn, it's that thing nice. He was looking for it all day. He, he was on the internet trying to find it all day at work. It's hard to find. I don't know if they discontinued it or not, but this is so good, man. Guapo by our rehab. This is similar to Cerruti 1881 Black. It's close to this. I still would take this one over that though. That's how good it is. Yes, it's that good. And it would do damage in this weather right here. I wore it the other day. It's been a hot, it's been a hot, it's been this hot for the last week or two. Friday was 98 to 100. Monday, it was 98 to 100. And I was working the metal when I wore this. This thing is magical, bro. It's magical. Like I said, this, this, this is my backup bottle and it's almost gone. Gotta find some more of it. I'll rehab guapo. Didn't spray it because I don't want to waste it. But that was 12. Like I said, the honorable mentions was um was Sultan, which is great too. Sultan is a magical scent as well. I might wear that tomorrow. Sultan and of course Club Denny went Intense Man. Those was the honorable mentions. I could have easily put those in the list, but I, I chose not to do so. And then I gave you I gave you 
um, El, El, El Cilio, which is an Invictus clone, Invictus Aqua clone. I gave you Premier Perfumes, A Bits of Night. I gave you White Diamond by a Moth in the Niche Collection. I gave you Roses from Bulgaria. I gave you Premier, another one from Premier um, Perfumes, which was um, Elegant Intense. Then I gave you La Parfait from Armoff again, which is uh, a mixture of Invictus, I mean, I'm sorry, of, of, of Ventus and Green Iris Tweed. Then I came back with Silage or Siage. Siage from Armoff, which is a Silver Mountain Water clone. Back that up, Etalus, or something like that. Came right back with Hawaz from her. Um, from Rasasi, which was a, another Invictus Aqua clone. And then I ended it with Guapo. Guapo from our rehab. Those was the 12. So I want to thank you for watching. I know the video is kind of long, but I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, wash your ass before you spray your fragrance on. Fragrance ain't going to do nothing for you until you wash your ass. So wash your ass. It's your boy, Sam Broom. Reminder you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. All right? That's it. It's your boy Sam Broom signing off. Peace. Back to doing another video.